Receiving a float surf with your overhead passing is not easy and many of you have trouble with it. That's why I have great exercises, tips and advice on how not to only improve your surf passing, but how to take it to do another level. I will also tell you what major mistakes to avoid and when you should not think about receiving surf with overhead passing. Receiving a float or jump float surf with overhead passing technique is a big help for all of outside hitters. But many of you and even the best receivers have trouble receiving a quick floating surf with a bump and they just help themselves by overhead passing. Simply every good outside hitter and libero should have a well mastered technique of receiving with the bump and overhead pass. In this video I have some great drills and tips that will fundamentally help you improve your reception, so let's uh, get to it. Receiving a serve with your fingers is much harder than a traditional setting the ball. Because the ball is uh, coming towards you at 60 to 70 km per hour, a ball that has a lot of energy, a ball that is floating and moreover the serving player is trying to serve as fast as possible, he doesn't want to serve directly at you and he wants his serve to go just few centimeters over the net. Therefore to receive this serve you need not only excellent uh, technique uh, to play the ball, but also strong fingers quick reactions, uh, pass the ball over the level of your shoulders and good footwork. When receiving serves with overhead pass, uh, you should always have a good stability with your feet uh, shoulder width apart. Ideally, at the moment of uh, touching the ball, you should not be moving. Always stand closer to the net uh, for overhead passing uh, than for the bump reception. For example, an outside hitter in the front zone uh, may stand uh, 3 to 4 meters from the net. For a floating serve to be passed with our overhand passing technique, we do not make a forward movement or run to the net when receiving. This is a mistake and you will not be receiving well with this uh, movement. Instead, uh, with a overhead passing, we step back uh, if the ball is flying backwards or sideways. To build the firm and strong fingers that you need to receive uh, serve with your overhead passing technique, um, I recommend uh, throwing the medicine ball into the wall. It's not a technically demanding exercise, but your fingers, wrists, uh, pectoral muscles and shoulders get very involved uh, in this exercise. Start one meter away from the wall, take a heavier medicine ball, I use a 3 kg medicine ball, and start uh, throwing the medicine ball into the wall. The important thing is to touch the medicine ball with all your fingers, not just three fingers. The medicine ball has a lot of energy when it bounces off the wall and you try to throw it uh, to the wall again faster. Once you have done 20 to 30 throws, then take the volleyball and do a similar exercise with the ball. If you have a good technique, uh, you can even speed up the frequency. After that, we move into the court. Pitch yourself the ball a few times and catch it. The important thing is to catch the ball in front of you at the forehead level. Next, uh, play the ball which your teammates uh, throws to you from a static position at a distance of 3 to 4 meters. Try to always have the ball directly in front of you. Even after the ball is played, the hand still follows the ball to where you want to play this easy ball. The next step is that your teammates uh, no longer throws you slow ball, but throws a faster flying ball from the chest to you. The passing player must now bend his knees and try to pass the ball as high as possible with his overhead pass. The advantage of touching the first ball with your overhead pass is uh, that this touch does not have to be perfect as in the case of a set and the referee will not whistle you for a double touch and technical error. During this drill always try to quickly sort of uh, turn the ball over your wrist and play it up. You can just pass it straight out in front of you. In a match uh, you also need to give the ball a parabola so that it flies high to the setter at the net. Now we are moving on to a simulating uh, receiving with your overhead pass uh, as after the serve. The serving player is standing a little behind the net and gives uh, easy float serve over the net, which the passing player uh, passes with his overhead pass. The important thing is uh, to move quickly on your feet and turn your body when playing the ball. We cannot have our shoulders uh, facing forward in front of us if we want to pass from zone 5 to the middle of the court for example. The touch of the ball should be short, the hands, wrists and fingers are strengthened. In the next step, the serving player moves away from the net to 8 to 9 meters and gives again easier float serve. The passing player stands at 3 meters and attempts a high pass to the center of the court. 
We will now look at the mistakes you should not make when receiving float serves with overhead pass. If you are already passing with overhead pass, uh, it's essential that you always play the incoming ball in front of you. You must play the ball in front of your body or sometimes over your head. You cannot touch the flying ball behind your body and as I said, it doesn't have to be a best uh, ball touch and pass. On the other hand, uh, you can't catch and hold the ball. Always try to pass the ball with your overhead pass high. Of course, it may happen that uh, the serving player surprise you with an aggressive uh, jump float serve, but you have to be prepared for this situation. The ball must not go through your fingers. You must not uh, let the ball fly over your head and play it late. If this happens, then the ball will end up behind you and it's a very bad reception. Your hands uh, must go forward against the ball, not up or back. Also, when a good uh, low float serve is coming at you, you must squat down with your feet down more, so you don't play the serve low under your chest level in front of you. It's also a mistake uh, to not pass the ball, but try to hit it over your head. This happens to some players uh, because they are afraid of their fingers, but you don't play the ball well this way. And also, don't put your head down when receiving. Your head must uh, always be pointing up. But back to the drills uh, for perfecting your serve reception with your overhead pass. The passing player is standing uh, 4 meters from the net. The other player has the ball in his hands. The passing player starts stepping into place on the first hit to the ball. As soon as the other player hits the ball for the second time, the passing player quickly moves to the side uh, where the other player throws a fast ball to receive with his overhead pass. The second more challenging exercise is receiving with overhead pass after the move. The passing player again stands at 4 meters. The other player has the ball. As soon as he hits the ball, the passing player steps over to the sideline and immediately returns. Once in front of the other player, he gets a fast thrown ball into his fingers for reception. At first, you can only do this drill to one side, then combine it and have the passing player move once to the left, uh, once to the right. Now comes difficult exercise for passing player. He starts at 3 meters. Uh, at the moment of hitting the ball, he takes uh, small steps uh, backwards as quickly as possible and the uh, other player throws a fast ball towards his head to receive with his overhead pass. At the moment uh, the ball is touched, uh, the passing player should not move backwards quickly. It's necessary to slow down the movement and try not only with the hands to transmit the, to the ball the energy necessary for a good high reception to the net. Sometimes, however, you get into a situation where it's not a good idea to consider receiving with the overhead pass technique. First of all, liberals don't pass this way. The vast majority of top liberals have a great bump technique and they don't do overhead pass. These players are so fast and usually smaller in stature that their feet get to all the balls and you won't see any overhead pass with them. But you know that uh, normally we don't serve uh, into libero anyway. Unless an opposing player has a good hybrid serve, uh, that is, uh, he's throwing the ball the same way, low, but sometimes he'll serve a jump float serve and sometimes a hard jump serve. And when he does this, uh, you don't want to stand on 4 meters and overhead pass against him when receiving. If you are a middle blocker, I'd rather advise you not to pass short serve with your overhead pass. Certainly, fast flying float serves are not for you, but for outside hitter or libero. But if a short serve is flying at you within uh, 3 meters, you'd rather not pass it uh, with your overhead pass. If you pass the ball with this technique, you'll shorten your time for a possible attack because you pass the ball over the top of your body and it goes straight to the setter up into his fingers. It's also harder for you to coordinate your body and make an approach for the attack. Instead, I advise blockers to pass this short serve with bump. The ball will fly away from you for on a longer trajectory, giving you more time to make a proper approach and uh, attack. Also, if you are passing as an outside hitter in zone 6, I don't recommend uh, receiving with overhead pass. Because if you stand at 4 meters and pass the ball with your overhead pass, uh, then you won't have time to step away and be ready to get set and ball to the pipe. And of course, uh, don't pass the hard jump serve uh, with your overhead pass. You can stand at 4 meters and expect to pass a good jump serve at uh, 200 plus kilometers per hour. Nobody can do that. It's also important to keep your fingers dry for receiving. Uh, you will not pass well with wet fingers. 
Also, the ball should be dry, but you can control that as a receiver. Some players also tape their fingers to firm them up and uh, make it easier to pass with their fingers. And if you would uh, also like to fundamentally improve your bump reception, check out this video where I give you 26 tips and tricks uh, to improve your reception. Anyway, I firmly believe that uh, these drills and tips will help you to become an excellent receiver and your overhead passing will be at a very high level. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.